Hello and welcome to all you Pisces. This is your monthly horoscope for November of 2020. Very eventful month, uh, November again. Uh, we are used, we're getting used to it, right? We're almost at the end of the year. I can't believe it. Anyway, now what is happening? Eclipses are happening. Mars is going direct. Mercury is going direct. Jupiter is conjoining with Pluto. Lots to talk about. But let's start with the eclipses first because they are most important for mutable signs and you're one of them. Uh, an eclipse is happening on the 30th of the month, but you feel it the whole month. And it belongs to the sorrow cycle for south. And this eclipse has the meaning of um, faded relationships. It has a meaning of strong emotions and feelings. But for you, it's more on the level of your core energy, so to speak, and your emotions. Because this full moon, which is going to happen, the moon together with the North Node, is in your fourth house. So it's the house of literally your house, but also your emotions, your emotional setup. There is something about you that you, um, and certainly this is just the beginning with the eclipses there, there could be a new way of having, being emotionally grounded, being emotionally understanding yourself because it's in Gemini after all, it's a mental uh, sign Gemini so um, and I think that's a good thing so the focus is really for the Pisces to go towards it's not that you don't have to work anymore with the south node in the 10th house or you don't have to uh, put effort into your career no but it's focus when it all boils down to is your emotional stability it's you uh, feeling that you are nurtured that you nurture yourself, that you're putting yourself first and foremost when it comes to fulfilling your own emotional needs and that you're not looking um, in relationships, in connections, in work to something at, on the outside that fills up your cup. It's a lot about filling up your cup yourself. This is so interesting uh, for you Pisces. And um, you're going to be feeling that the whole month but also when uh, even next month when other eclipse is happening but anyways I think it's um, definitely if you've been having a rough time when it comes to emotionally you've been all over the place it wasn't easy for me there is like more grounding coming for you so that's good that's good Mars is also going direct on the 15th of um, uh, of the month. Mars is going direct in your second house of self-worth, of hustling for the money um, and it, it has been having lots of stress with Pluto so you might have um, well, had the wish to uh, start a new job or to find a new way to earn money and it encountered, um, you were going forwards actually, but you encountered a lot of restrictions or maybe regulations or whatnot and it slowed down. Now Mars goes direct on the 15th. It doesn't mean to say that everything will go rush rush. It will go more, it will gain more momentum and also the gaining of self-worth, which, like, which I like a lot for you, for everyone actually, because building up self-worth is so difficult. It's challenging, isn't it? And uh, destroying self-worth is very easy, but building it up. And you're definitely building it up. You're building up self-worth. You've been doing that a lot with Mars going, um, Mars being so long in your second house. It's not all about money. It's about self-worth as well. But as it goes forwards now, midst of November, there's also next month again, it's going to bump into Pluto. So still you will have to persevere. You will have to... Um, put a lot of focus on something and a lot of courage if you really want to succeed. So the real uh, reaping of, of uh, what you've sown, so to speak, is more around the December time. Um, but you, it gains, as I said, it gains momentum now uh, from the midst of November. Also, when Mars goes direct, there is a new moon in Scorpio, which is really, really, really nice for you because that goes well with your energy. And it's in the ninth house of the mind and of your perspective. You're gaining a new perspective, absolutely. Because there's also a very big emphasis 
on the mind, on your perspective, on how you see the world. There's even a transformation going on. Mercury is there, going direct on the third. Um, well, it, it will shift into Scorpio Mercury. It's first in your um, eighth house of transformations and um, it's in your ninth house as from Mercury goes direct in Scorpio. And when is that going to be? I need to know, of course. I have forgotten it, you know. I'm at the end of the videos and I'm, I have forgotten it. How is it possible? But you Pisces, you understand me. You know, it's the most understanding sign of the zodiac. On the 11th, on the 11th you've got of the month, you've got Mercury going into that ninth house. I really, really like that for you because there's there's insights coming for uh, for you with this Mercury for the third time bumping into Uranus. So on the 17th, that will be. Just after Mars goes direct, you're going to have more insights, more understanding of how life works because the ninth house is having this overview, having this intuition. Your intuition will be running very, very high around that time midst of November and onwards, 17th and, and onwards. And also Venus is, is going to join the club around the 21st of the month of November, also in that ninth house. So when it comes to understanding of life, when it comes to the, the there were some uh, pieces of the puzzle that I was missing, information that I was missing, and now you're getting it. Love, Venus in the ninth can mean love through... Uh, connected with someone from another culture or someone, to say the least, from another background, connecting um, uh, or traveling. I know it, it may sound weird in these times, but I mention it anyways. Um, traveling through, um, yes, you can meet someone that is quite significant. You could have a connection with someone, even on the internet, for instance, but from another culture, another country. And it feels really nurturing, it feels really good, it feels really deep as well. Um, so for those of you who are looking for love, it could be um, with all this energy going on in your ninth house related to whilst you are studying, whilst you are teaching, whilst you are learning, whilst you are um, talking to other people over the internet from other countries, whilst you are going on a cultural event. Um, you know, these are all ninth house stuff. So go out there, go out um, and in the world, so to speak, um, as much as you can, of course, but um, also it can be mentally, you know, expand your horizon mentally, learn, uh, read, write and do all these things because you really are going to enjoy it with Mercury and Venus there. So, um, and again, as I said, this Mercury opposing Uranus, it happened on the, or, uh, on the 7th of October, 20th of October, and the last time on the 17th of November. This is about secrets coming, um, uh, you know, showing itself to you that gives you the opportunity to have your standpoint and it's liberating it's really really liberating so you're going to have a lot of aha moments you dear Pisces last but not least Jupiter Pluto conjunction there is a Jupiter Pluto conjunction on the 12th on the 11 um, in your 11th house of friendships um, and of uh, goals so it could mean two things so it could mean that yes now you're getting Momentum, gaining momentum when it comes to a goal that you have. And it can be a windfall there with Jupiter-Pluto conjunction uh, around the 12th. Or when it comes about uh, a friend, it could mean a transformation there. A friend becomes more than a friend. Um, or a friend that you're saying, oh, this, you know, it's very transformative, whatever it is, for good, for, for better or for worse. It could mean like, now I see this, this person, jupiter Pluto conjunction is about revealing, revealing uh, secrets, uh, Pluto. Things become very clear for you now. And because of that, you can make strong decisions. You can say like, yes, this friend, I want more than this friend. Uh, or the opposite. You could say this friend, 
um, I, I mean, you want more, you, you want a relationship, for instance, with this. This is possible with the transformational energy. Or maybe a friend is going through a very transformational time and that has a positive effect on you as well. Or um, a, a relationship with a friend um, is giving you opportunities. They're helping you out. They're giving you an opportunity uh, with your goals and you transform because of that. Or when it was like in a, in a more negative way, but then you already know that this is uh, simmering around there. It has to do with an ending uh, of a friendship. Could be that as well. When things were becoming toxic and when things come out and reveal itself that you say, aha, uh -huh, you're getting this aha moment again. Lots of aha moments. I like it. I like it you for you, uh, dear Pisces. So quite an interesting month for you. Thank you so much for watching. I um, wish you all the best and thank you for watching. Bye bye.